Okay, rule 23. Oh, this book is about to be done. Rule 23. Power-driven vessels underway. A power-driven vessel underway shall exhibit a masted light forward, a second masted light abaft of and higher than the forward one, except that a vessel of less than 50 meters in length shall not be obliged to exhibit such a light but may do so. Side lights and a stern light. Just like the picture. Mm -hmm. Rule 23 continued. An air cushion vessel when operating in non-displacement mode shall, in addition to the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit an all-around flashing yellow light where it can best be seen. So here we have on page 46 and 47. 46 has an air cushion vessel when operating in non-displacement mode, less than 50 meters in length. 47 has an air cushion vessel operating in displacement mode, less than 50 feet in length. Oh, okay. So non-displacement mode, you're floating on a cushion of air, you're not displacing the weight and water of your vessel. And you have the special flashing... Special flashing light. light. If you're in displacement mode, you're the same as any other power as vessel. As power vessel. Good. Rule 23 continued. <clears throat> Here's the exceptions as the vessels get smaller. A power-driven vessel less than 12 meters in length may, in lieu of the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit an all-round white light and side lights. So they can take their masthead light and their stern light, combine them into one all-round white light mounted as closely as practicable to the center line of the vessel. Mm -hmm. A lot of vessels, power-driven vessels under 12 meters, they may have an outboard. Yeah. But inland will you need running lights in addition to the stern light. Yeah, you need side lights, a stern light, and a oh, masthead light. Yeah, I call side lights running lights. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's what it's called in my nav, <clears throat> my power panel. Gotcha, running lights. So side lights. Page 51. <clears throat> Rule 23 continued. A power-driven vessel when operating on Great Lakes may carry an all-round white light in lieu of the second masthead light and stern light prescribed in paragraph A of this rule. The light shall be carried in the same position of the second masthead light and be visible at the same minimum range. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. This is your classic Great Lakes freighter, a Laker, with the house forward. Yeah.